called Mike E. Winfield. Mikey, what is your age? Oh, so I'm like 20s to like 30s and stuff, you know, all right. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm originally from Baltimore. I did adequate time in Sacramento, a lot of love. What do you do? You know what? I tell jokes, you know? How long you been doing this? Over 15 years. So do you even remember the first time you step on a stage? Oh my gosh, do I remember? Yeah, it was a Tuesday night open mic and I get on stage with bright lights and arms crossed, and now they're all staring at me, and I just kind of freeze. <laughs> so the fact that I came back, that means there's something wrong with me. <laughs> okay, so show us what is wrong with you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, thank you. I, uh, I, uh, I love older moms. <laughs> like, I like it when her kids just moved out. <laughs> I can set up my computer in an extra bedroom, you know? <laughs> I got married to an older woman. Uh, I got a stepson. It's cool being a parent to a kid that's close to your age. <laughs> I call him Stepman. <laughs> he drove me here. <laughs> that's my step homeboy, man. And it's a weird dynamic if you see it. He's like 6'2 with chest hair. I don't have any, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Teenage boys can be gross. You know when they're doing inappropriate stuff on their laptop, because when you walk in on them, they'll slam it down really fast and then ask you some irrelevant question. <laughs> I walk in on Stepman, he's like, who's running for Congress? <laughs> I'm like, oh. Like Stepman. I quit my job at the grocery store. Stepman's like, what are we gonna do for money, Step Mike? I'm like, hey, <laughs> don't worry about it, okay? And I, I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> <laughs> and now look. I worked in the worst department at the grocery store. Not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? <laughs> I got paid to watch people steal all day. <laughs> and people think you stupid. Like, you know when they gonna rob you when they bringing up their stuff, they always gotta look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. <laughs> this one dude tried to humiliate me. Like, I knew he was gonna rob us because I'm looking at him, he's looking at me. I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but he he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> he didn't even do it right. Like, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. I Like, the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. You're beeping unbeepable stuff. Hey, you guys, I'm Mikey Winfield. Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at these people. Oh, they did it all. Look at this. Wow. wow. Thank you so much. I mean, I don't think there's anything else to say. They love you. <laughs> oh, I man. love you. Thank you. It's amazing your energy, your smile. <laughs> I loved it. Oh, thank you. Howie. Everything you say is memorable, is authentic. Your Thank smile, you. your persona, you're great. You're great. Wow. Wow, I appreciate it. Heidi, you are fantastic. And then there's this face. Thank you. Look at his face. <laughs> that face is just so cute. Why don't you mention his face? Isn't his face so cute? Yeah. <laughs> Well, you have a real star quality about you, he Mike. He does. You really do. Yes. Absolutely. We could never do this show without an audience, particularly with an act like yourself. And this audience loved you. I mean, you could tell them. Thank you, Simon. Thank you all. I appreciate you. And Mike, look, we always say an audition on this show, two minutes literally can change your life. Maybe this is one of those auditions. I've got a good feeling about you. Thank you. Well, we're going to start voting. Simon. Yes. Yes! Four yeses!